Welcome back to News Center One. I'm here with the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff. Hey, Thomas, and how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. How are you doing here Good. Today? It's good to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're here mostly because of Winter Storm Atlas and, you know, some of the extreme weather events and the devastation that happened here in South Dakota. Can you tell me a little bit about Atlas? Well, we, we had uh, about 75,000 cattle who were killed. You remember that, and the mm -hmm. viewers remember that. It, it was just all that snow coming down. Some of the cattle were able to crawl over their fences and get about four miles from, from this ranch right here. We're, we're at the Half Box Ranch, and, and the the, the cattle, they fell into ditches. It was cold. It was rainy. They were covered in, in icicles, and they were hypothermic. It was really bad for the cattle here. Yeah, but luckily, on the bright side, we had no uh, human fatalities thanks to some of the warnings out there. Yeah, that's a good thing because we, we've got all the all the technology, and, and you're out there on mm -hmm. TV every day, and you're telling the folks what's going on, and, and, and you're able to tell people, hey, this is a really severe one that we've got coming up. And that's why here at the Weather Channel, we're actually naming these winter storms, so it gives that severity that mm -hmm. you get from the, uh, the summer storms, from the hurricanes and tropical storms. Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it really worked out, and we saw loss of life. I know that some of the ranchers here hurting, but you know you're going to be talking with some of them a little bit later today on the Weather Channel. Yeah, and, and we also talked to some of the city officials in Rapid City, and they told us that they have all these alleyways and they have all these streets to cover, and it, it's really tough for the city officials to get all that snow cleared once it dumps on the city. Yeah, well, luckily we had some warmer weather after the blizzard there, and we still got some recovery efforts. Again, we are still talking about Winter Storm Atlas even a month after it hit us here in western South Dakota. Well, thank you so much, uh, sure. Dave, for, and, and for these, meeting with these, me. Here. These guys back there were complimenting you on your new jacket. I really like it. Yeah, really yeah. Really bought you, bought you it know, at Target yesterday. You, you, know, you know where I got this? I get, I, I get all my clothes uh, well, from work. <laughs> <laughs> I get you know, free clothes from work. I'm thinking, and, of, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about getting mine embroidered New Center One on the side here, too. It'll, it'll be looking great out the there. The one, the one New Center One. That's right. All right, thanks so much, Dave, <laughs> for meeting with me. Thomas. All right, Eric, Elizabeth, back to you guys. Thank you, Thomas, and thank you, Dave. What a good sport, having yeah. so much fun out there with Thomas, and I know he is just so excited right now. Dave gets it. The yeah. one the one news source, the one weather source that's us here at News Center One. But, yeah, I, I love the Weather Channel. Mm -hmm. I watch all the, oh, not, I know you the, do. all the weird stuff. I mean, I just love late night just turning it on and seeing what they have to say about so all the different Eric. corners of the – it's a weather nerd thing. We can't help. Even Coast Guard Alaska, awesome. <laughs> just awesome.